Good afternoon, everybody. Well, we are here. It is another Tuesday, another beginning of another week, man. I, I'll tell you, you turn around and all of a sudden you're just like, what? The semester's over. The year's over. The summer's over. Uh, anyway, the summer's not over. The summer just began. Yesterday was the first official day of summer, to be clear. So we have a lot of the summer left, so nobody panic. Um, but I hope everyone is doing well and is looking forward to this game today as we are playing. I'm sure the Dunsels will be happy when they arrive. We are playing uh, the Rain City game, which has been nominated and won the Patreon Field Chat Chosen Game of the Month. So uh, we have got that on the uh, on tap. I am very excited for it. I want you all to know that I dropped... Um, this was, this was, look, I mean, your Patreon support makes it possible because um, it was kind of brutal, I have to be honest. Uh, I went over to Steam to buy this game and uh, $3.99. I mean, you know, like I, I think that, right, yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I saw that and I was like, oh, uh, that's, that's perfectly doable. Um, so we got the game and I got it on Steam rather than Switch just because it's easier to stream. Um, you know, I thought about it getting it on Switch, but it was first of all, double the cost at $7. But more importantly, it was just that I thought it was a little bit easier to stream if I did it on Steam. So, uh, that is what we are doing, uh, playing a little bit of Rain City today. Before we go any further though, just a couple of reminders about ways to support us here on the channel. If you haven't done so already, please follow the channel. That is always appreciated. Please check out our YouTube channel with exclamation point arvtube where you will find past broadcasts of the stream, um, and uh, that is always appreciated if you want to check out and see what we've done in the past and what we might be doing in the future. Subscribing to us over there would be appreciated as well. It's not going to cost you anything, but it will definitely help our channel as we're trying to build up the subscriber numbers over on YouTube as well. Excavation Point Arvcord is the Discord channel where you can hang out with the Arvonauts in between streams. Excavation Point uh, Arv uh, Tweets is my Twitter where you can see when I'm going live and follow me for all the various things um, that we talk about on a daily basis over there. And, uh, of course, the website for all of this is arvinelleron.com. On the financial side, exclamation point Arv Shop is the merchandise area. You can get stuff for Adventures in Middle-Earth and Infinity and Beyond and soon-to-be Esper Genesis as well. Exclamation point Arv Treon is the Patreon, which made it possible for me to drop that $3.99 on, uh, on that thing. So that was important. What's up, Hillness? Um, so, uh, that, the Patreon really does help and it allows you to get, uh, things for you like custom poems or character backgrounds or inspirations to help the players in our tabletop games, but also, uh, allows the channel to move towards various channel goals, like another writing contest, like a talisman tournament, and also makes it possible, um, for us, uh, to be able to, um, offer different, um, improvements to the stream, like the awesome camera that I have now that really, you know, improves the quality of the uh, picture that you're seeing and all that kind of good stuff. So any of that support also helps my writing, which is hugely appreciated as well. So all of that stuff can be found over on the Patreon, exclamation point Arvtreon. And of course, uh, the website for all of this, I mentioned, uh, not the website, the um, uh, the subscription to this allows you to subscribe to the channel and get those awesome custom sub badges and emotes that you can send everywhere across the Twitches uh, as well. So that's always appreciated. Plus, as I said, get inspirations to help the players too. On the publishing side, exclamation point Icarus is from my Icarus graph novel from Athis Arts, uh, an IBPA Benjamin Franklin Award silver medal winning a graphic novel. Um, the uh, And I also have a little bit of cool news actually speaking of Athis because Athis is also the publisher of record for Grayshade, uh, my novel which is going to be coming from out from them in a few weeks. And I now have details, uh, some actual dates, specific dates for the Kickstarter. I'm not going to give you those dates yet, um, but we now have them, and they are exactly as I have said. We are not going to have to push back. Um, everything is online, and so uh, the, we are going to be announcing on, Hillness always makes fun of me for this, my announcement of the announcement, but we're going to be announcing on July 6th, which is in a couple of weeks, I think it's actually two weeks from today, when the launch date for the Kickstarter is going to be. Um, and uh, so that's going to be super exciting, but it is going to be exactly what I've been saying all along. The Kickstarter is going to to be late summer, early fall. And this really is going to be a big deal, folks. Like I'm, I'm, super excited about the potential for this uh and it's it's yeah I, i'm just i'm in a really good mood about it um that was <laughs> in a day where yesterday um where not everything was great because of a couple of uh things that happened not related to channel everything's okay but it's just you know wasn't the most lovely day of all time but in a day like that 
it was a very strong bright spot um, that I was able to gather this information, uh, you know, have this information about uh, new details about Gray Shade. So, yes, you'll find out on July 6th about the official launch date, and we can all start getting hyped together uh, for this late summer, early fall uh, Kickstarter for your favorite uh, friendly neighborhood assassin. Um, so that's going to be happening with Exclamation Point Gray Shade KS and Exclamation Point Library, Tales and Tomes from the Forbidden Library. It looks like now um, backers should be getting their copies of Tales and Tomes uh, by the first week of July, roughly speaking, is when they should actually be or starting to arrive in mailboxes, if not a little bit before then, which is really great. It looks like retail for uh, these books, retail for this is going to be in October. So if all goes well, Kickstarter backers and stores that ordered are going to be getting this in July. Um, as I say, first week or so, roughly speaking, is when that's going to start to arrive. And then the uh, retail version, the retail uh, sales of these will begin in October. October, um, which is awesome because I'm, again, I'm so happy with how uh, Tales and Tomes came out. And that same company, Alligator Alley, which sponsors our Esper Genesis game too, they are going to be uh, doing the Gray Shade tabletop role-playing game with Aaron Rosenberg at the helm of uh, the actual design and Alligator Alley publishing. So that's going to be great. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited about Gray Shade. So we'll talk more about that uh, as it gets a little bit closer. Finally, as always, exclamation point BLM, Black Lives Matter, very important to affirm and assert the significance and importance of black lives and exclamation point help now which is the world health organization page on suicide prevention very important to reach out to others um, when you need help and to reach out to others when they need help as well and with that said let me get rid of that and let me get rid of that and let me turn on that there we go Hi, everyone. Uh, good to see you all. Um, so we have kind of a weird situation today with this because for lighting, I mean, because it is very overcast today here in uh, usually sunny southern Connecticut. Um, it's very sun It's very overcast today. So actually, there is light. There's always light that comes in here during the day, but it's dark enough outside that I was like, hmm. So I actually gave myself a little supplemental help with my up top lights because the lights in the back are not going to throw forward um, for a day stream in the same way. So um, that's that's why we've got the lighting looking the way it does. But nonetheless, we are here and uh, ready to go with some Rain City. Just a couple note about schedule, by the way. So we've got this going on right now, uh, Rain City. Then at 4 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be over on GOGcom. Talisman Adventures has been rescheduled to next week. It was supposed to be this week, but we had a combination of uh, illness for one player and then another player um, is dealing with like home stuff, and I certainly know the deal with that. So they are going to be back uh, as of next week. So we're going to reschedule Talisman Adventures to next week on Pen and Pixels, and instead I'm going to be doing more of Celasta Crown of the Magister today, which is cool because I actually wanted to give that game more of a try. Um, so there's that uh, that we're going to be doing over on GOG. And then tonight, if all goes well, at 9 p.m. Eastern, we should have the Our Vocalists. Now, the that this is slightly up in the air because um, one of the uh, cast members is not going to be able to make it tonight. So I have to make sure that the other three are on board. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm pretty sure everybody is all set, but I need to confirm. So at the moment, still make it tentative for tonight's 9 p.m. Our Vocalist session with Neocab. If we can't do tonight, then we will obviously reschedule this to next Tuesday evening, but I'm hoping that we can actually get it done tonight, if at all possible. What's up, Mar? And yeah, exactly, Hillness. Um, yeah, the Pacific Northwest, everybody needs to stay, you know, try to stay hydrated because, man, it has been brutal um, out on the West Coast and out in the West in general, the Western region of the United States. So everybody hang in there out there because it's it's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to some Neocab garlic. I'm hoping that that happens tonight, um, but we will see. Last, I do want to mention, um, because I'm not going to be on as a day stream. I might be on again this evening, but I'm not going to be on as a day stream until I think after this show, after this uh, Kickstarter has ended. So the Alia Terra Kickstarter that I've been talking about, you folks should back the way I did. It's got, I think, um, a little over two days left to go. They still have not reached their goal of the fully illustrated, which I know they would love to do, uh, which is a 12.5. I think they're sitting at like 9,700 roughly um, right now USD. So if you haven't already done so, please consider jumping on board with this uh, non-binary uh, collection of short stories about Romanian folk tales and fairy tales. It seems like a really cool project and it would be cool for it to be fully illustrated as well. So definitely um, jump on board with that Kickstarter because as I say, 56 or 54 hours something like that is all that's left um 
Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 you know, as I say, first of all, I already am obviously biased because Athos is not only a great publisher, but great people. But secondly, um, you know, I think it looks like a cool project. So I think you should support it if you get the chance to do so. Um, potential for a high of 120. My God, that is crazy. Um, all right. Last note that I want to make. I'm sending this right out to J-Reb. And if J-Reb comes in here, I want you to know, J-Reb, it's your fault. So a certain someone whose name rhymes with Blayblab, told me the other day on stream that I need to try this game called Wildemuth. And I'm like, what is Wildemuth? And he's like, Wildemuth is this really cool game. It's like a tactical RPG, but there's a whole bunch of storytelling mechanisms and everything. And I'm like, I don't know, person whose name rhymes with Blayblab. Do you think that I would like this kind of a game? And he said, I do, Arv. I think that this is the kind of game that you would really appreciate. And I'm like, okay. And so I tried this Wildemuth. And I blame Blayblab uh, entirely for the fact um, that it has, as a game point of view, occupied my life for the last couple of days. Um, it is really good. Uh, he's right. It, it's as good as advertised. Um, and uh, I was very surprised by it because it's a game that in some ways I don't think should work for me and yet does. Um, and it's 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 got elements that normally I would be like, what? No. Procedurally generated. Nah, get the hell out of here. Like, I don't want roguelikes. No, I don't want eh, timers. I don't. But somehow it kind of works. Um, and uh, I, I played the introductory campaign, which was about four to five hours, something like that, and won it. Um, it's good. It's good. Wildemuth is good. So it just came out of early access. I may at some point try playing a little bit of it on stream, although I must say I've been having a good time playing. I, I've wanted to be looking for a game that I can play off stream sometimes, and this may be my game that does that. Um, I wish it would come to GOG because I would straight up stream it uh, if it did, but it right now is on Steam, and it's it's cool. Um, I have to admit it's, it's well done. Uh, the writing is pretty good. Um, really interesting illustration, cartoon illustration that generally works, I think. Um, there's a real charm about it and something about the design and the way it all comes together works. So I'm blaming you, Blayblab, uh, for this. And when you see this VOD, you can officially know that it is your fault. Um, but no, I appreciate the recommendation. It's it's solid. I think it was 20 bucks too, so it's not way expensive and is, is worth your while to consider. So you should check it out. I love games like that that have um, storytelling components that emphasize story but do so in different ways that emphasize the mechanics of game design. So I think that's pretty cool. Speaking of game design, by the way, your boy Arv is going to be on a panel at ReaderCon about games and narrative design and the like. And I wonder if there is a... I, 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 I've been on many panels throughout the years where people start by saying, and this happens quite a bit at ReaderCon in particular, um, where people on the panel are like, well, I got on this panel because I disagree with the premise of the panel. Like, well, the problem is the panel's premise isn't a good premise, blah, 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 blah. Um, and uh, the, let me see if I can find, let me see if I can find that there. Um let me see if I can, uh, well, I don't know if I can actually get into it. I guess I can't yet. All right, I'm going to have to wait until, because they haven't officially registered, they haven't like released the official schedule yet. So I will talk more about it. But all I'll say is that it's a game that, bas it's a panel that talks about um, game design and fiction and about how fiction and narrative sort of work together in games and how games can influence fiction and narrative. And it's one of those cases where I think the premise is interesting, but a couple of the panelists, some of their responses were also kind of in the line of like, you know, they were sort of backhandedly commenting about the quality of some game fiction in the past. And I was like, yeah. so I may be that guy is what I'm saying this time on this panel that may be a little bit like, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about some of the assumptions being made about what game narrative actually does compared to so-called real fiction, um, which to which I object strenuously as a distinction. So anyway, um, we'll talk a little bit about that uh, when we get down there. But that was, <laughs> it, it was it was kind of funny because I was reading it and I'm like, I may be that guy. I may be the guy who says the premise of the panel, uh, not, not entirely, I don't totally disagree, but I think there's some elements of it that I'm like, I don't know. So it's going to be an interesting discussion. It will be virtual. It's being held in August this year. And I'll talk more with folks about that when we get there. I do think it's going to require tickets. I don't believe you can just access it in the general public, so I'll talk more about that when we get there. But it looks like, um, if all goes well, that we're starting to move in the direction again 
of you know these cons opening up. We've got ReaderCon, which will be virtual. That's happening in August. Um, then in September, of course, we have uh, Gen Con and Origins. I won't be able to be at Gen Con because I am going to Origins already, and I had already booked that, and I can't take away two class days to be able to do this. So um, I'm not, and also there's no symposium this year at Gen Con. So it's really sad. It's been a long time since I've missed a Gen Con, but I'm not going to be able to do that this year. But um, I know that I think Athis. Emily, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I think uh, Garlic and uh, Ballstick are going to be... Someone's going to be at Gen Con, I think. Um, but in any case, their Gen Con, uh, I will definitely be at Origins, and I think they might be there as well. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I'm going to be there live. Uh, and then there is no CanCon this year, sadly. So then I will be done until December, where I may, in December, uh, be able to go to... If I get on programming, there's a good chance I would go to DisCon, which is uh, WorldCon being held in Washington, D.C this year um and that will lead us up to what i hope will be a much more normal 2022 in terms of conference attendance so we'll see i mean there's still things you know the delta variant is is out there um the pandemic is not over yet we still need to get vaccination rates up but it has been good to see a lot of those rates increasing over time and by the time we get to september i think we'll be in a different place so we'll see anyway uh <clears throat> Oh, got the package. Oh, it'll be a both. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, you got the package, Wenchkin, from all of it? Okay, cool, cool. Um, and uh, got your pa uh, Effect Life. Just back for your first day at the office since mid-March 2020. Yeah, I know. It's um, it's really interesting to see. I mean, people have been talking about, uh, talking about what it's going to look like. And it's going to be weird for me in the fall. Because in the fall, I'm going to be going back. I'll be done with my sabbatical. And in the fall, I'm going to be going back to teaching um, in person. And that will be the first time that I've been on campus at St. John's, my university, since March of 2020, same time as you, Effect Life. So I literally, I'm in fact, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to see printed out midterm uh, sheets that are going to still be sitting on my desk from a year and a half ago. It's like a weird time capsule. Um, I, it's, I don't know what, what to expect, honestly, how I'm going to feel. I think it's going to feel mostly really good um, because I don't want to spend the rest of my life in front of Zoom calls. But but it also is going to feel very strange to walk into a classroom for the first time since March 2020 and to uh, walk into my office for the first time since March 2020. So it's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, brush the dust off. Hey, what's up, Chrono Wolf? Um, also, Chrono, uh, it's good to see you, dude. And I have not um, I have not missed your message to me regarding things and stuff. So I will I will respond to that as soon as I can. I haven't forgotten. Uh, as far as indoor plants, no, I do not have any indoor plants in my office, thankfully, because they would have long since died. I do have an indoor plant in my office here, but this one I actually water, you know, so I can keep this thing going. But the plant there, no, um, not not in my office. So it's just gonna be really odd. Um, you know, like, the experience, I mean, for most of my life, or really most of my life, actually, um, but for well over half of it anyway, I have been spending, um, you know, my life in classrooms in, you know, September through May um, and early May. And so, and then I get, you know, now now is when I would normally be off, June, July, August, um, and then I go back in September. And so being out from March through the end of that semester and then teaching remotely in the fall of 2020, which I did, and then being on sabbatical for spring 2021 just leads to a very odd um, experience. And it wasn't totally a negative one either. It, made, it meant that I was able to get some stuff done and obviously I was able to move. And, you know, I mean, it wasn't, believe me, I'm, I'm not, you know, like upset about the fact that I was, uh, that I got some time that I needed. Um, but you know, it was still, it was kind of a weird experience to just not be in this thing where my body is so used to going to certain things at certain portions of the year. And speaking of the uh, body and rest, by the way, I should say, so I've got my Hearthglow Academy primer for those of you who back tales and tomes in the Forbidden Library that's been submitted. So that's in now and that'll be going out to you as soon as Alligator Alley distributes it. And that means that all that's left for me to do is a short story set in that world. And I will be doing that over the next seven to 10 days. And then I'm taking this break that I've been talking about where it's basically going to be streaming, reading, hanging with the family, and playing a couple of games here and there. That's basically my my plan for the summer, um, all the way through basically third week of August, when I will start, you know, uh, prepping the syllabus and start um, obviously making preparations for the Gracia Kickstarter and, you know, getting ready for the fall. But for the next um, just about two months after I get done with this story, I'm going to be 
laid back and chill. And that's going to be nice because even during my sabbatical, I was busy getting ready for this and doing all this stuff. So that's going to be that's going to be good stuff. So yeah, um, so that's what we've got. But right now what we've got, folks, is some Rain City. So let us get to it. Here we are with Rain City. And um, I installed this initially on my regular computer. I forgot that I wanted to put this on my gaming computer. So I haven't fired this up yet. Um, so we will see. Um, no, they haven't quite actually, Chrono. Because when I got the AC installed in my office up here, I had to take the books off a shelf which had to be moved. So I'm going to be having people are coming in, in the next couple of weeks to put in some custom shelves so that I can basically put my books back up. And then once that, they're also going to be installing shelves to put up like debate stuff. And that will allow me to finish finally with the office. Then we just have... The dining room, which is the, the, not dining room, the living room, which is all unpacked. It's just that the games that we have done in the living room are currently unsorted. So we need to sort that. The dining room basically involves like China, the stuff that goes in my family's China cabinet that has been in my family for generations. We have not done that. We have to do that over the course of the summer and get, because that's not the kind of thing you can just be like, oh, like you literally have to be careful as you're putting it back into the China cabinet. So we're going to do that. Um, and then the last thing after that is the basement. Um, and the basement is where we put everything else. So we have to, uh, you know, we're going to have to go down and uh, sort through that stuff. But mostly it's together and the fact that we did that while also managing to get the ACs in here and to make these other tweaks and stuff for the home has meant that we feel pretty good about where we're at but um yeah so not quite but not bad you know we've only been here since March so we're we're pretty well in which is not bad considering it was the first time we'd moved in a decade so um that was that was pretty good um that is a good question i'm going to fire up this game in just a second um in person Wenchkin, definitely in person. I didn't sign up to, I mean, I love all of you, don't get me wrong, and I love streaming, and, and you know, this is definitely something I, I like a lot, but because I do this, and because I, you know, do rehearsals with my band online right now, because everyone's scattered to the four winds, and because I, you know, do various, like, interviews, I, I do a lot of stuff online already, so doing even more online is not my idea of a good time. Like I signed up to be able to teach in person. I think that one of the things the pandemic showed is not only the limitations of many of our economic and governmental systems, like we need to think of other things other than profit um, and how government really does matter. But the other thing that the pandemic has shown is the limitations of things like remote teaching. And they are severe in my judgment. There are certain situations where remote teaching is important. Accessibility, there are people who can't get on campus. And for those people, remote teaching is hugely helpful. There are certainly situations where remote teaching is helpful. But I think what this has proven is that in many ways, the remote situation is not tenable. First of all, broadband access is not ubiquitous at all. So a lot of students that were forced to go remotely ended up just basically dropping off the map. And I'm talking in college, let alone what happened in the high schools. If you look at the high schools and the middle schools where a lot of those students just basically fell off the grid completely because there was no real internet access for them. This nonsense that like, oh, everybody has internet. No, they don't. There are many, many places in the world, even in the United States, where there is not legitimate internet access. And so you can't actually just be like, oh, just put it online. It'll be fine. Um, there was much less engagement. People need to be with each other personally. Just think about all the stories that we've been telling about as the pandemic has eased, people going into real world situations and the joy they felt from just being around people, like even introverts, okay? Even introverts need people sometimes. We are not hardwired to be just solo people who live in caves on islands. That's not what we were designed to do. We need physical contact. That's what we were built to do. We're not going to overcome that in a year, right? We, we evolved this way over thousands of years. So we need in-person contact. And certainly in an educational environment, a lot of the best education happens not in what happens in a stream, but also, oh my goodness, Red Lear with the tier two sub. We also need snacks. First of all, Red Lear, thank you so much for the tier two sub. Secondly, imminent congratulations, because I don't you I don't think you've actually become... I can't wish you a belated happy Father's Day yet, right? I don't think the child has arrived yet. Am I right about that or am I wrong? I think it's close. Soon. Okay. Soon, TM. 
Thank you so much for subscribing, despite the fact that you've got that you're thinking about. Seriously, uh, it's a wild ride, but it's a great ride. It's well worth it for all of its difficulties. So good luck. Um, good luck to your wife. Good luck to the whole experience. And obviously, please make sure once the child is born, please make sure that you surface here and occasionally hang out with us and also post pictures of the child regularly, okay? That's that's really important. Like within 10 days. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, but thank you so much for the resub, Redlier. I appreciate it. And yeah, please let us know, okay? Um, because I'm I'm excited for that. Um, hey, Mrs. Dunsell, good to see you. Yeah. Oh, exactly, Chrono. Oh my God, dude, ISP's gouging. You got that right. We actually have fiber coming back in here in the in our house. We're installing fiber um, because in our particular area we just got fiber out here. So we're going to be doing that on Thursday, uh, which is good. And that is money that is set. That is a rate which is set for life which is nice. Now, I know that Mrs. Dunsell's, I know Commander Dunsell has some problems with the four life promises, but at least it's going to be better than just being at the whim of a company that just gouges you one way or the other all the time. But anyway, um, yeah, to Mrs. Dunsell, just to say, um, yeah, it was, it really is awesome. So we need that in person. I'll address that in a minute, Blackberry Bear. So um, we, yeah, Wenchkin, we need human contact. And in a, in a room, the be and I promise we'll get to Rain City in a minute, the best education that happens oftentimes doesn't happen in a classroom. It oftentimes doesn't happen because of a teacher's comment to a student during a lecture or a discussion, although it can sometimes. But a lot of times the best moments happen after class with discussions that occur with people that are like, you know, what you said reminded me of this thing. Or a student who comes up to you and says, you know, I thought about this because I've really been struggling because my brother passed away a week ago and I didn't really know what to do with that until you said X, Y, Z. That's happened to me in my classes. That doesn't happen in a virtual environment. Yes, students can come to you afterwards and have office hours virtually. Yes, they can do a video call with you, but it's not the same as literally physically being in the same space. Um, not to mention that I believe there is a certain vibe, there's a certain energy in a physical space that causes people to connect in a different way. Um, this is why live theater, for example, has never gone away despite the prominence of movies. Because, and, and frankly, going to the theater hasn't gone away entirely either. I know that a lot of people watch from home but a lot of people will tell you, if you want to go see a major event, would you rather go watch it? You know, would you rather watch this major event um, streamed live on your even 50-inch TV with yourself, you, yourself, and I? Or would you rather go see the next blockbuster whatever film with a bunch of people that ooh and ah with you? And the answer for most people is they'd rather do that. And that's because we there's a live energy that gets picked up on. Um, so, you know, I, I just... I, I did fine. I think the evaluations were good. I did fine with remote teaching. As someone, one of you, I think, said to me when I was kind of going, oh, man, I don't know how I'm going to do all this. You, Someone was like, you, me, Arv, are better suited to do this than most of your colleagues, right? And I was like, yeah, I guess so, because of what I do with streaming. Like, I'm better suited for it. But no, it's not my preference in the least. Um, I love streaming, and I love doing stuff like this with you folks here and D&D &D Online and so on. But yeah, I... I from a teaching point of view, I'd rather be doing it in person for sure. And I think most people are finding that that is the case. Um, so um, the uh, yeah, it's just not and it, and it just doesn't it doesn't it's, it just doesn't feel the same. Like, you know, you're like you're in a room, right? And you've just had the discussion. The class period is over and people are gathering up books to put them in their bags. They're gathering up their tablet, their laptop, whatever. Right. And they're getting ready to go. And I'm gathering all my stuff from the front of the room. Students will come up past me and talk to me at those moments all the time. Before a class starts, they'll talk to me all the time. There is no before the time when you start a Zoom call. I mean, yeah, people can come in, but and they're, they're not going to be like, hey, professor, so what do you think about this? How's this? Like, it just doesn't, it's it's awkward. It doesn't feel the same. It's it's just not the same. So it's a very different kind of experience. Um, and uh, Blackberry Bear, I wanted to say... Yeah, going back for senior year. And I, I really appreciate that. I, I know that that is going to be strange for a lot of people. It's going to be difficult um, for a lot of people to deal with that. And I, I totally get that. I guess what I would say is, I and I don't know how this, this is not advice. I'm just, this, my own thoughts about it are that given the fact that we have been for thousands of years have evolved to be social creatures, I think the fact that that's something I like to fall back on, right? That genetically we are hardwired to be connected and to be connected in a physical way, physical touch, physical connection. 
And so that, to me, is a very powerful way to talk about the fact that everyone's going to feel weird. Everyone is going to feel anxious. And of course, people, there's, that's a diagnosable condition anxiety. And so that's, that's a whole different kettle of fish. But even there, lots of people will feel, be somewhere on the spectrum of feeling anxious in some way and disconnected and not sure and uncertain about people all around. And I think if, if we're able to sort of remind our children and remind the people around us that we can do this because we've been wired to do it, right? That it's part of our makeup and that doesn't go away from a year or a couple of years that we didn't have it. It was doesn't go away even for our lifetimes. For thousands of years, we're wired to function in a certain way. That really can help, I think, in the long term. And again, I will recommend the book that I've recommended to a lot of people, which is Rutger Bregman's uh, Humankind. Um, this book is was an absolute marvel to me, and it was a real corrective to this feeling that mankind is cynical and, you know, this, that, and the other, and that's it's not the case. And I think even in the pandemic, it was proven that although there are certainly selfish people that do things for themselves and don't care about others, there are a lot of people, and I would argue more people, that are sort of hardwired to reach out to each other and provide assistance and help. And so in that spirit, I hope um, that your daughter will find a little bit of peace in sort of falling back on, on what we're hardwired to do. But again, I recognize that's extremely difficult individually. And so... Yeah, I feel for you. I, I know, believe me, I know the feeling of, of working with kids and trying to work around issues of social anxiety and, and their experience of it. I've, I've been there. So, um, so yeah, I, I wish you the best on that, Blackberry. Nonstop, good to see you. Uh, what's going on, my friend? I hope all is well. And um, yeah, so with that said, let's get into some Rain City. Nothing, nothing better, right, than once we've explained all of that to be like, all right, now let's um, talk about a depressing noir environment. No, not depressing. Um, I am excited to play this game because I have heard many good things about it. So let's do it. All right, Mrs. Dunsell, here you go. Victory for all those who have rooted for Rain City. Have not fired this up other than to see this title screen. Big Pineapple. I will choose... Oh, wait. Start over? I haven't even started yet. Alright, I probably will have to fix the volume on this, but... Alright. Dear brother, Rain City was a very beautiful city, but now the environment is terrible. I'm going straight home after I finish my interviews. Oh my god, it's another noir cab game. No, I'm just kidding. It might be raining. <laughs> my little sister's a journalist. She's in Rain City now, and I haven't been able to get in touch. It's touch with her for days. I decided to check things out because I'm worried. I love the art style. Okay. Wait, what? What? Boy, they really went, uh, kind of went all out on, uh, on the volume, on the options here. All right, hang on a second. Uh, um, okay. Okay, how's the volume on this, folks? Is the volume too loud? I just dropped it to 50%. Is that okay, or...? How's volume on this? Hmm? Eh? Hmm? What say you all? Volume good? Bad? Indifferent? So far good? Okay. All right. Let's continue. Alrighty. Uh, what is this? Wait, what? 
It must be the save spots. Umbrellas must be the most useful tool here in Rain City. Okay, so if you've got like a... Wait, 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 wait. There are several photos of the apartment owner decorating the wall. Okay. What is... Maybe I have to give him money? I guess we'll see. It is cute. You want to stay here? Look elsewhere. We're fully booked. You looking for someone? A girl called Leah? She's been gone for days, so I'm owned more than a week's rent. I could tell you her room number if you paid me the rent that she owes. Ha ha! 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. 5,000? Perfect. Look, here's the key. Go upstairs and turn left for your sister's room. What? 5,000? Dude, this feeling is too real. I didn't know that Rain City was actually Midtown Manhattan. I see why Mrs. Dunzel wanted me to play this game. She's like, Arv, I want you to feel the pain of a Midtown Manhattan apartment cost. I bet it's got one. I bet the shower is in the kitchen. <laughs> it's the New York City rate. I'll bet the shower is in the kitchen. I love the art style. Oh, oh, hi. Are you looking for the girl who lives here? She gets along well with the old man in the attic, so it'd be good to ask him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you... Okay. Right. Uh... Looking for a roommate in a 20M2 chic singles apartment. I'm a kind sheep who's easy to be around. <laughs> okay, that's the door. I know, right, Lost Rivers? Well, they did. They were loaded. Oh, I got the money. I... I guess I can't use that. Isn't this my... Hmm. Can I use the thing? Aha! Okay. Here we go. This is reminding me a little bit Except the art style is, well, the art style is very different, but something about the animation is reminding me of, anyone remember the game Machinarium? I played the game, I want to say on this channel, maybe three, four years ago, and it was a point-and-click adventure where you play a robot. I really liked Machinarium. It was a cool, cool game. Again, point-and-click adventure. Um, the art style is very different, but something about the animation, uh, how they're moving across, is reminding me of Machinarium. Hey, what's up, Live Suing? Reminds you of Rugrats? Yeah, I can see that. Whoa, camera. Okay. Picture of the landlord. Picture of the the um, housekeeper. And a picture of the old man. That must be my sister, and that's the old dude in the apartment. Okay. What? Oh. Can I pick this up? Yeah, this is, it's cool. I'm, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Can I pick this up? Can I not pick it up? I guess I have to fix it with glue or something. All right. Can I get out this way? It's rainy. My sister's not in her room, so I'm going to ask another resident first. Oh. So you're not going to let me go out there. Alright. Right. 
So I have to, I have to deal with the resident. Okay. I have to talk to that guy in the attic. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Kid! This is off Rabbit's Island. Get out! Kid! This is... Okay. Bow do do do. Bow do do now. Bow do do do. Bow bow do do now. Bow bow do bow bow. Bow bow do bow. Bow bow do do do. Bow bow do 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 do. Boom boom bow. Boom boom bow. Boom boom bow. Boom boom do bow. Bubble haze. Onto this guy. All right. Um, oh, I bet it's locked. Well, how the hell am I going to get the key to talk to the resident? Looks like it's locked to ask the owner about the key. All right. Yes, a little bit. I can see that. Garlic, yeah, for sure. Rabbits are specious. We have a bunny in our own, uh, in our house. IRL house. Our own bunny. All right. You want the key to the attic? Okay, I'll give you the key if you lend me a hand. Actually, Mr. Alpaca is living in a room across from your sister. He's way behind on the rent. He won't answer when I knock on the door. I'll give you the key if you collect the rent for me. What is with this lazy dude? What is with this guy? I just gave you like $5,000. This is completely a New York City rent simulator. That is what I have been tricked into playing today, is a New York City rent simulator. Right down to the landlord is like, listen, if you tell on your neighbors, what is this crap? Why do I have to go get the... Man. All right. They're not here, but there seems to be noise coming from inside. I'm going to look for another way to enter. <laughs> oh, man. I'll bet I'm going to look for another way to enter. Why are we becoming his debt collector, right? Like, that's what I'm saying. Man, this is all about late stage capitalism right here. so hot I have to close this pipe somehow okay okay gotta close this pipe man I can't believe I'm working for the man chat I lived in New York City too long you know what I say is true though Mrs. Dunsell you know what I'm saying you know what I say is true <laughs> you know I speak the truth <laughs> uh, okay got some headphones can I put that around the pipe? I'll bet I can. <laughs> uh. Did you vote today, Mrs. Dunsell? All right. You can do it. What? Oh, I'm using the thing. Is that not it? I thought that would like fold around the pipe. Maybe that's not it. Hmm. <laughs> oh man. All right. I know about that already. My sister's suitcase. She must still be in the city. Okay. Um, wait a minute, actually. All right, so it only goes the one way. All right, so I wonder if, if I can give the guy... Wait. Do you have anything to close up pipes? Yeah, 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 yeah. confused about huh 
Huh. Maybe... I would have thought that that would have... I don't know. I feel like... Maybe I'm overthinking it. But I would have thought the pipe... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I should be able to open this. But I can't seem to interact with it. Because if I can close the pipe off... Right? No, it goes up though, it doesn't go over. Ah ha ha ha! Yep. Can I not... Can I not pick that up? I don't understand. What's up, Carol? Hey, kitty! I'm confused. What? Why? Why are you showing me that if I can't do anything with it? Can I not pick that up? I mean, I guess I have to do something with it, but... Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Except I don't know how to get to it. But that right there is the wheel. This is the thing I need to get to. So, can I push this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. I was right. I just, I forgot that I could pull it at the same time. So now... Yep. That's it. That's it, chat. Now I have what I need. Yeah, I just thought that I could only push it and not pull it, so... Now it all makes sense. Okay, so now I got it. The controls. Yeah, it's it was a little it's a little weird these controls, but Okay, so now Yep. Now that's closed off, which means I can now get here. Which means that I can now go around. There's no problem on the pipe, just like whatever, it's fine. The alpaca. What? You came for the rent? You have nerve to ask for rent in a horrid place like this. I'm creating an amazing hacker program now, but the upstairs so noisy I... No, that's the wrong voice. I'm creating an amazing hacker program now, but the upstairs is so noisy I can't write code in peace. I'll pay the rent if you get upstairs to be quiet. Here you go, my dude. Yeah, it really keeps out the sound. Thanks. But upstairs is still loud. What? Haha! <laughs> I'm a rabbit, chat. This should deceive the rabbit. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a rabbit. I am not a cat. I am, in fact, a bunny. What's up, my bunny dude? It's good to see you. Are you also reading Carrot? Huh? I've never seen you before. Whatever, I'll let him through. It's so rowdy. I have to get them out of here somehow. Now I'm right here singing, it's the place to be. I've got my animals in the NYC because this is a rent simulator, know what I mean? Because I'm going down the streets and I'm feeling really keen on trying to make this game work hard because I don't think that I am... I don't know. I don't know the right card. I'm not sure where I'm going with that. Mm, mm. And you don't stop. And you don't stop. Why won't AI look at me? I'm such a good looking guy. Oh, his liquor is tasty. One more. 
Dot, dot, dot. Did someone call me? The price of mineral oil has been on the rise lately. It looks like I'll be unable to buy it. Before the coal mines turned into a contract system, you could get ore for free. One of these people is not like the other. All right, who are you? You need a cigarette? Is that, where, is that what I'm hearing? The rabbit band is performing enthusiastically. Hmm. So I need to get up there somehow. It's a vending machine selling green tea, cola, and... <laughs> it's a vending machine. This is a PC version. It's a vending machine selling green tea, cola, and tobacco. That is the vending machine of champions right there. Sign me up for green tea, cola, and tobacco. <laughs> a shooting game. Now that I think of it, wasn't there arcade in the neighborhood when I was young? Ooh, we get to play it. Rabbit Fighter! Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I wanted this moved the other way. Okay. Oh, auto fire. Yes, please. Get green tea with gola and tobacco drink. If only it had gauntlet. Ooh, the boss. Boss fight. Oh, 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 boss fight. Ha-ha! <laughs> Yeah, I got a rabbit fighter coin. <laughs> All right, fortunately, chat. Green tea, cola, and tobacco. I'm about to buy cigarettes for this guy. I am a bad person. Is this Star Citizen? Why no, Red Lear? Because it actually exists. Hey, <laughs> uh, okay. Now I've got to go give cigarettes to this guy. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is, I feel bad. 666. Six, six. Of course it's 666 six, six, cigarettes. <laughs> oh, man. All right, my dude. Here, have your death sticks. So I got a lighter. Did that help me? Oh, wait. I can play this? What the heck is this? Oh. Okay, achievement unlocked. I'm a drum master. 
I'm a drum master. Hey, good tempo. I rarely see anyone who can play the drums as well as me. I'll give you my limited edition drum. I made it with a water bucket from my garden. It's super strong. Okay. Oh, that bucket allows me to climb up here. <laughs> what, is, what is this even this game? Okay. Now I got this tape. All right, so can I like, it's gotta be something with that. That's not tape. What is it? Oh, it's toilet paper. Why is there toilet? Do I even want to know why there's toilet paper? I probably don't, do I? I probably don't even want to ask that question. I got you. I got you, my dude. I got you. <laughs> no. Venture game does not have to make sense to be fun. Thanks. I was stuck in there so long that even my butt went numb. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a smoke detector on the ceiling. Maybe I can use it. Hell yes, I can use it with my lighter. Oh, I bet I need to get closer, don't I? Okay, maybe I don't. Do I even want to look at this? The rabbit's poop floats in the... What? Could you please... What, what the... F I, I don't... Did you... I... What? Flush the thing. Don't... Yeah, I get it. I get it, I think. I need to... Can I put the bucket down now? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Speaking my language. Yep. I need to get out, actually. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. All right. Now I can go downstairs. The alpaca should be fine now. All right, dude. It's finally quite. It's finally quite. That's right, I said quite. Not quiet, but quite. You convinced that rabbit? He's a character. I was too scared to approach him. Here's the rent. I'm a man who keeps his word. I can finally write code in peace. All right, there's the rent. Thanks for helping me. This program is complete. You might see me on the internet someday. Well, that was quick coding. My screen name. That would sound good. What about Code Sheep? It's a good name, right? Okay, I already saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 whatever. Okay, is there anything else I can pick up here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Code sheep. He's the baddest coder on the internet. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Here you go. You really got a rent from the alpaca. That stubborn alpaca wouldn't open the door no matter how many times I knocked. All right, I'll give you the key to the attic. There's a strange old man living there, so there's something you want to ask him, go ahead. Alright, we got the key. So now we go back up. We talk to the old man. Old man! Woman, woman, sorry. Man, the whole freaking hallway is locked. I know, right? Lost Rivers, exactly. Okay, is there anything I can grab here? There are boxes and random things piled. I just wish that you could, like, see if you could interact with something from more of a distance. Because otherwise you have to, like, walk right up on top of them to even see if you can. Oh, God. Um. Okay. 
All right, so we obviously don't have what we need for this yet. It does not show those spots, and that's what I was just talking about, Effect Life, yeah. Fritz the Cat, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I was talking about, is that you can't really tell until you're right on top of something um, that you can interact with it, which is... Circuit board. I wonder if I can use that to fix circuit. No, I guess not. I guess I don't have what I need yet. Okay. So. Whoa. Ow. It's a classic helicopter. Okay. All right, we got crank. Looks like a crank of some kind. Oh God. Sliding. Po oh my God. What? I d oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, I'll come back to that. <laughs> I don't... I am troubled. I am deeply troubled by the potential for what that game is asking me to do. Okay. Okay, I still don't have what I need for that. Well, I guess I can go down, down below. The music is so chill. Aha. Uh -huh. We have a crazy inventor's room. I wonder what's under the lid. Um. Can we not find out? No. No. Oh my god. Um So if I go what does this do? Okay, so this has to go over. Has to go lower. Hmm. So, uh, it goes like that. Do you have to like maybe I mean that that is what I'm trying to pick up, isn't it? Maybe I'm not supposed to be picking that up. Maybe I'm supposed to be picking this up. And that would mean Okay, no. Hmm. 
Not sure I'm understanding how this thing works. No, that can't possibly go. Now, I was I was thinking it might go over this way, but I don't think it goes over far enough for that. No. There there must be I don't think I'm I don't think I have the information I need for this yet. Yeah, I I don't think I get I don't know whether it's supposed to be picking this up. Or if it's supposed to be picking, like it looks like I'm supposed to pick this up and put this on top of this. But I don't think, I don't think this thing can go over far enough to do that. So, okay, so maybe try this way, because that'll get the claw over farther. <laughs> um... How about this? No. All right, so this controls, yeah, this controls the, I don't, see, I think I'm doing something wrong. I don't think I need to actually get this over here. I need to get this thing. Yeah, no, I got that. I think I got that part, Hillness. Yeah, it's. it looks like this belongs on top of this. And so what I was thinking was that this reaches out, but I actually don't even think it can get over there. I don't think that's it. I think I need to get something that will allow me to jump on top of this. I wonder if I can get that bucket back. Or is that box something I can use? No. Yeah, so exactly. I think something is missing from the room also. What I'm worried about is that I have to solve this, and I don't have the faintest idea how to solve this. Is this some kind of weird Sudoku puzzle? Like, so 2 plus 3 equals 5. So I have to have 5 in each of these. 2 plus 3 is 5, so again, I would have to have 5. Oh, that doesn't work. Just feeling so proud of myself for a minute. Um, oh, wait a minute. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. Well, I don't know if I do, but we'll find out. All right. So. Okay. So two plus three is five. Wait, can I even do that? What's up, Rising Tides? Look on the wall to the right. There's three lines over there. Oh, good call, Hillness. Good call. I'll come back to that thing. Good call. Okay. I am going to screenshot this. All 
Okay. By a screenshot, I mean photo. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a photo. Instructions for the grabber, yep. Yep, no, nah, good call, Hillness. I totally didn't see that. Um, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so let's go over here. Okay, so we're talking five. Five. And then this is all the way over. And then this is three. All right, well, the good news is that that's definitely that's definitely set properly. Actually, wait a minute. Maybe it isn't. Hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's lame. The The dials don't measure right. The dials are not correct. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight, not nine. Oh, you know why? Well, actually, wait. I see, I don't know. Yeah, we're still missing the lid. We still need to get up to the lid, which I might be able to do with the bucket. All right, let me see if I can get that bucket back. Making sure that wasn't right. That's my guessing. That's my guess. Is that you put the lid on it and then use it. That's my guess, yeah. But I gotta, before I do any of that, I have to get, I have to figure out a way to get in there first, so. Suddenly I can't get the bucket anymore, really? Okay, wait. You won't let me get the bucket now? Aw, oh, come on. See, th this is my frustration sometimes with adventure games. I 100% would get this bucket in real life. 100%. I would get this bucket and then I would go back so I could get the thing off the... <sighs> That's frustrating. I wonder if there's anything back here that I can get now that I couldn't before. Yeah. All right, so it means that it's something from up there. Yeah, I really wish I could get some of those random things that are piled, but... Okay. So what have we got? We've got this thing over here, which I don't think I can do anything with this. Yeah, it doesn't let me use anything to interact with it. Probably because I need to turn the power off. I wonder if I can turn the power off so I can get to that thing. Aha! That turns it off. Okay. So now that that's turned off, I should be able to get this thing. Yep. I don't know what the hell that does, but... No, that's still... Okay, we still have to figure that puzzle out. Oh, and I got a ladder. 
I didn't even see. Mm, I didn't see. I could get a ladder. All right. We got a ladder. Well, that will make it possible for us to get the thing in the other room. Man. Okay. So now... Wait, can I not? Oh, all right. So then I have to go to the other thing to get the boxes. I have to go up here. Right, go in here, yeah. Then I use the ladder. Can I not? Interesting, really? Huh. Okay, that's weird. Um. That's what I thought, uh, Lost Rivers, but I don't think, I don't, it doesn't seem to be giving me the option to do that. Okay. So that's how I put something on top. But, okay, but, no. I still can't get up to that, though. Like, to get it and put it on that. Oh, you really? You're going to make me... You know, it resets everything. Okay, hang on. So it says... Ah! Success! We got it! It was the lid. All right. Okay. Now we got that circuit board. Interesting. Okay. So that circuit board. I don't know what that circuit board does. Is that the circuit board we need for the helicopter, maybe? Can't interact with that anymore. I guess the only other thing we can do is that other room. Can we combine these? No. Alright, well, something in here then. Yeah, I guess you need the ladder in place, which is that classic adventure game logic. Alright, um... So it looks like I'm going to have to solve this puzzle one way or the other. <sighs> um... See, I thought it was like 3 plus 2, but that doesn't work. It's also not 2 times 3. Um, so maybe it's just how many rows and columns you've got. All right, so then this has got to be... Okay, so we've got 3 in that. There's got to be 2 in here. There's got to be... I think I get it. It has to be... So it has to be... There can only be 2 in this, in this column, 3 in this row... So that means there can only be three here. And two here. We know this has got to be five. And we know this has got to be four. So. Okay, so that's two there, three there. That's fine. That's three there. It's two there. That's fine. This has got to only be, only be two. And that's got to be one there. So we know that's got to be one of the ones. It's kind of like a very cool... Logic puzzle. The only problem is that it's a little confusing in terms of how. Okay. We know that that's one, so that can't be the four, which means this has got to be like that, which means that can't be one of them. And 
Oh, so we know that has to be like that. Okay, so three across, two down, that works. Three, three up, three across, that works. Two up, five across, that works. Two up, two across, that works. Four up, two across, that works. Five up. Then this has got to be three. That's got to be one. This is almost right, but not quite. Um, three across. Okay, we know that has to be five across. We know that this has to be one, but it could be any one of these. If I go, yeah, that's it. Aha. Okay, good. That was kind of cool. Okay, now we have a bunch of like gadgets and doodads, and I don't know what any of those, <laughs> I have no idea what any of these mean, but something has to mean something. I have like a billion and a half circuit parts now, and so... Okay. No, it's alright, Hilmus. Um. Oh, wait. It's this guy. You're Leah's brother? I think she went home because I haven't seen her in a few days. I heard about the factory from her, but outsiders aren't allowed in, so I would guess she gave up and went home. You're still planning to ask about the factory? All right. It's faster to fly, so wait for the helicopter to be fixed. Yeah, pretty much live. The helicopter's core parts are broken, so we have to place them with new ones. There are in total seven parts like this. Go find them. Did you get all the helicopter's core parts? There's some in my room in the shop room. Folks get forgetful as they age. Sorry about that. Oh, I need to get up there somehow. Um, Alright. We've got six of them. We need one more. cool that I already got most of these before I even met the dude. Um, uh, I bet the ladder. Let me go get the ladder. Wait a second. Oh god, what? Oh, you have to like... Oh my god, it's like Tetris. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. I can't do this until I get all the parts. It's gonna drive me up a wall. Wait, wait, wait. All of a sudden, I'm missing one. Are you going to make me do this, really? Where now that I started doing it, I just have to put the stuff in. This is not right. I'm just putting it here because I need to go get the other part. Okay, great. Wonderful. I got one more. How many parts do I have to get? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more part. And that part is up there, and I need the ladder for that. Hopefully. Hopefully I can still get the ladder. So if I go over here, and I think I go down here is where it is. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's good. I was I was going to be like, man, I need to find some other thing. I can't even get the bucket. Okay, so we got the ladder. All right, so now we get the ladder. We go back. We get the other part. And then we solve helicopter Tetris chat. 
No, that's not right. How about I actually use the ladder first? Ha ha! Outstanding. Okay, can I still get the ladder? Good. I have a feeling I'm going to need that ladder again. Okay. Okay. Oh god, here we go. Tetris time. Oh my heavens, this is going to be... It's going to be interesting. Um... Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, let's see. Whoops. Ah. It would be cool if you knew like that this such and so works you know if it was like okay this this actually operates um because we don't i don't think this is going to work actually maybe uh-huh and then no, it's not going to work, I don't think. I did not, Mar. I did not. But I am going to be reading uh, Drist this summer for the first time because I never have. Whoops. That's not quite right. Let's assume for a minute that it's not that it's not as complicated as I was originally making it. Uh, Okay. Okay. That shape is so weird. Um All right, well, what if I put this over here, right? And then I'll remove that for a second. And then we move this here, nope, to allow this to go like that. No. Um, that doesn't work, I don't think. Oh, very cool. Well, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to, uh, as I mentioned, it's been a while. I really have never read any of Bob's work, and I, I should. So I am looking forward to uh, giving it a shot. Man, it's not quite right, is it? Hmm. That's a two block. Man, look at that. It's not quite right. This is like that, um, anyone ever played that puzzle game? Uh, the puzzle game you can get called Rush Hour. Anyone ever played that? That's what this is reminding me of. Um, 
Nope, come on now. You have a love-hate relationship with a Yeah, same. Same. Very much same. Um... Okay, so there's that. If I put, if I then reverse that, put that like that. What does that do? Anything? Or does it do nothing? Oh, it's so close. If you were just on the other side, it would work. I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you darn kids. Um, oh, man. So close. Um, Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, shoot. I thought I had it for a second. I'm like, ah. But I did not. Um, oh, that's why. Because I... Mm. Yeah, I agree with Carol. I find the controls on this annoying. Um, Cuz there are times where I think I'm doing something and I'm not doing what I think I am and that is a little bit frustrating. Um Okay. Oh, Dylan Pertolo's a Shannon trilogy. Ah, uh, yes. Dylan Pertolo, designer of the Gray Shade board game. Um, This is tricky. If there was any like relationship, if there was any relationship between the parts, it would make it easier also. Um, see, I feel like, I think I need two T-junction pieces and I've only got one. Okay, immune to knowledge. Yes. <laughs> I didn't get that reference at first. Oh man. Dylan's character was so fun for those games. Oh, nice. Yeah, Dylan's a fun writer. He uh, he does lots of um, he does lots of cool stuff with uh, action in particular because of his own you know background as a guy who does jousts and all that. So okay. Right. Ah, 
<sighs> so it can't be that because Oh, wait a minute. Now I'm going to be one short again. Shenanigans. Uh, are you flipping out because you see it live and I'm not seeing it? Is that is that why? I know it can be frustrating when that happens. Oh, okay. Um... This little beauty is rough. Um, okay, that. One of the long pieces should go to the top. Um, Well, top is in the top row or the column? You mean the row? Because the thing is, there needs to be something in here. I mean, I could put this here, certainly. The weird shape, shape one screams middle piece. You see, you're talking about this one? Yeah, it does. Um, I don't think, I wonder if I move this, no. It's not right. Oh, I got it. I got it. Got it. All right. It's fixed, my dude. Woo! Did you touch the helicopter's core parts? Okay, take a seat. We're off. Helicopter time. Hell yeah. Oh, God. Seriously? Oh, no. What happened? Let's go below and check it out. Oh, man.
What on earth? One of the propellers are missing. With one of the propellers gone, the helicopter will lose its balance. Look around to see if there's a new propeller. I'll try to think of another way. Um... I know where the propeller is. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a ladder again. Oh, yeah. No problem. That looks like a propeller to me. And I can... Oh, can I? All right, good. Let me get that ladder back. I told you I was going to need it. All right. Let's try it again. Go, big fella. We got it. Did you fix the propeller? Yeah, wow. Time to go then. Nothing's happening. What do you mean nothing's happening? I don't know what nothing's happening means, but... Success! Helicopter's awesome. Yeah, yeah, sure. Illness. Here we are at the factory. You'll find a factory if you follow this road. See what they have to say there. I'll catch up later because I'm going to try working with the helicopter program here. Okay. Anything else I can pick up? All right. Helicopter time. Or rather, uh, factory time, I mean. Okay. Whoa. Who's this dude? What? What happened to the plaza? This is the only way to the factory. I guess you're out of luck. How about asking elsewhere? You're going to the factory no matter what? And look for another way. I'll be waiting in the helicopter. Come anytime if something happens. Alright, hey rat. I need to go to work. I'm so late that my boss is gonna kill me. It's too scary just imagining it. Do you want to go to the factory? And take the stairs all the way to the right. But now it's soaked with water like this and electricity runs through the water. Ah, it's terrifying. If you shut the upper hatch, the water should stop flowing in. Security office is next door. Okay, so I have to shut the upper hatch. But I'm too scared to go in because there's a scary old man inside. Alright, I'm not scared to go in. Where's the TV antenna? I can't get a signal like this. Hey, what's up? Oh. Scary rat. I need to get the rat some cheese. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. I see, I see, I see, I see. Health and safety nightmare, this factory. It's true. Okay, so we go over here. Get on here. Pick up this up. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Now I got the TV antenna. I got it, my dude. TV's finally fixed. Thanks. I can finally relax and watch the news. Means I can get that. Which means I can now... Okay. 
Okay, so I still need to... That's locked. I bet there's something over here. Yep. But I got this. So I pick up the key. And that will let me open this. And that will let me do something else. Presumably. That's a magnet. Can I... Yep, thought so. Is there anything else I can see down there? No? Alright, so... Now I'm going to need to move this over. Excuse me, rat. Or mouse, I guess I should say. Okay. And that means I can use this, right? To get that thing. I don't know what that is, though. What is that thing I just got? Is that a flashlight? What is that? What did I just get? Just living its life. Oh, that's what I need for this. That's what I need for this. That's right. And that will let me close the water. Ha ha ha! Yes, indeed. Got it. Unaware of giant slices of pizza, it's true. You're really awesome. It's great that the hatch is closed, but it looks like there's still water flowing through puddles of water on the ground. Now, why don't you try? I'll go too if you don't get electrocuted. Alright, I imagine I can't do that, but I can go underneath. Oh my god in heaven, what? That's to dr <laughs> Um... Okay. So I need to drain... what I thought. Okay. So, yep. I did this in Mission Critical not that long ago, actually. Ooh. Alright. Get some tiles. Oh, did I fix... So, wait a minute. Did I fix the tiles? I don't know why it keeps showing me that picture. I'm assuming it's showing that to me because I still need to, like... I still need to fix everything, but, like... It was indeed a critical success. Okay, I need some kind of tube. Ah, I got that. Okay, I got that. Okay, this I can do, but I have to push this over here. Like this. And that will let me... Man. Alright. Okay. Okay, now can I... Now I have to do the thing? Right, so go over here. Is there anything else there? Okay. Also, there's one more tile that I just saw I need to get. No, 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 That's not what I meant to do. Ugh, damn it. Okay.
Okay. Oh, okay. So... Now I need to get the knob from that. I gather. Okay, can I do that one more time? Okay, so if I did that right, then that should mean that I can go over here and I can get that from there. Yeah. No, I don't. <sighs> Nine broken pipes. Actually, that's a good point. I wonder if... So does that let me... Hmm. Okay. So I think what I have to do is, this may be timing. I think what I may have to do is I've got to get on... No, that's not what I meant to do. I need to move this thing over. I need to get on top of it. I need to turn the wheel, but then grab the wheel back because I need it. So I need to go. Ah, it doesn't let me. Shoot. It doesn't let me grab it. see if this made any difference up top. Because that's still electrified. Okay. No, it's got to be down there somewhere. See, I thought... Unless, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I wonder if in the security office there's another one of those wheels. Like, is there anything in... Oh, I'm able to put, what? Okay, that's complete luck. I would have never had any idea that I could actually do that. I would have thought it would have been electrocuted. All right, let me go back. I would never have known to do that. That was complete luck. And yes, I think you're right. I think those are pipes, which I can use to repair what's down there. I think you're right. I just, I would never have known to do that though. I guess I had to do it from top, up top though.
Okay. So the solution to the pipes written on the wall again, is it? Oh, let me s Okay. I didn't actually even see that. Alright, well, let me see. Because what you want is you want the water to come down here and then root over to here. So... It's true. He's actually using, I guess, the wall to push himself over. All right, let me see. So the water comes down there. And then it... I need to get it... I need to get it in this pipe here. So I need to get this routed here. So it goes down like this, comes down here. Okay, so that doesn't work. So if we go here, we route it here, it doesn't do anything. If we route it here, it also doesn't do anything. Um, let's do backwards. This around here, 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 and then No. So, let's see. If I go back up this way, like this, and then down here, um, then I go left. No. Then I go left, yeah, like this way. And it goes this way. Hey, what's up, Miranda? And then it goes to here. And then it goes over and then down over pipe connection there that goes up here that goes up here then goes to here then goes down here goes to here goes down here all right i need to i need to i need to re-get i need to get this stuff so i could figure out what i'm doing all right Well, yeah, but I don't want to go do that immediately because I do think that's the answer lost. So I don't want to go do that immediately. Um, I want to see if I can figure it out. Um, that's annoying. That means I got to go drop the thing all the way down. Okay. Uh, go over here. Okay. Go down here. And go over here. Move the box. We're trying... There's water right now, which is electrified in that square, Marinda. And we need to get the water out of the square completely. Drained out so that I can go over to the factory. Because I'm trying to find my sister, who's disappeared. And so to get the water down from there, it drains through this pipe. And I need to get it over here. So that it can drain through this hole. That's the... So that's the idea. Um... Uh, like this. And... Okay. And we have... Let's see. Let me get that. How many pipes do we have to work with? I kind of wish it would stop showing me this. I know about that. Um... I think I have five, right? I think I have five pipes. So, so I want it to get here. So if it goes down like this, stop showing me that. Yeah, basically that's right. So, okay, so down here, if I connect it here, then it will root up here and that doesn't do anything for me. So it can't be that. If I root it here, then it goes down and that doesn't do anything so it can't be that 
So if it goes here, okay. So it's got to be this one. So that's the first one. It's got to be that medium range one right there. That's the first one that I need. Okay. Okay, so again, this one doesn't do anything. This one doesn't do anything. This one is what we need. Which means I need to go down further. Okay. So, go over here. Drop this one more. Okay. Alright, good. I can still get down there. Alright, so... Okay. So now, we know... It's going to go down... Oh, wait. What am I doing? That's not right. I was looking at the wrong pipe. It, I was I got confused. Um, okay, so no, that's not right. This is not right. Uh, well, it could be right. Let's see. This one would lead us here. That's definitely not right. So it's definitely not this. Yeah, so it does have to be this one. Please let me do that one. Oh my god. That's that's annoying, honestly, that you have to do it this way. Ugh. It makes it makes trial and error and like sort of figuring things out like tedious. Adventure game busy work. Alright. Alright, so no, it's not what I wanted to do. Okay, we push this all the way over. Push, 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 push. Okay, good. Get up on here and turn that. Okay, so we need, we need to get, so we don't want this, right? So we need to put a pipe here. We can't do that yet, so we have to go all the way back over and then drop it one spot. Which is more than a little obnoxious. Alright. Okay. There we go. Now we drop down. That one. Okay. So, this goes like this. And now it goes over to here. So now we're in this situation. We could go, now that the pipes, now that the water's connected here, up doesn't do anything, but down leads us to a couple of options. We could go here. Oh boy. Okay, let's think this, think this through. If we go here, and we go here, and we go here, and we go here and we go here that doesn't quite get us there wow oh it might get us there Okay, so if we go here, so we're going here, right? So that means we go up and we go down. We go here, here. Oh no, because that goes like this and like this. So going here doesn't bring us anywhere. So it has to be this and then this. So it has to be this one. It has to be that one right next to the wheel. Okay. All right. 
so. Okay, so again, just make sure I'm getting this right. I don't have to do this again. So going down here, 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 yeah. Okay, now let's see where we're at. So now we are down here, over here, down here, over here, up here, up here, up here, up here. Okay, yeah. This box is annoying. All right, let's try this again. Down here, up here. That brings us over here. That brings us up here. And then we've got to get that. So we need a pipe there. Let me see if there's anything I can do while I'm down on the ground. If I do a pipe up there, it goes down like this. And I'm going to have... Okay, so when I get down to the ground, I have to put a pipe there. So I got to get a pipe right... Somewhat ironically, it's raining here right now. Yeah, seriously, right? Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. Ugh, the controls are so irritating on this. Um, okay. I think that actually may be where I wanted to put a pipe, but let me just make sure. Okay. Get away from everything. Okay, so here, here, here. That goes down here, that goes up here. So if I connect it there... Yes, yeah, so I will have to put a pipe there. Okay, so once I put a pipe there, that will route it up here. And then here, okay. Okay, so I think we did as much as we can do on this bottom section. Okay, so we go up. Okay, we're going to put one there. Okay, so now that I've got that. Yeah, well, you missed the uh, helicopter repair Tetris we did before, Miranda, which reminds me a little bit of that. Okay, so we go down. Get away from there. We go down here, up here, down here, up here, over, up here, down here up here, over, then we need a pipe. If we do that, that goes here. So we need a pipe here for sure. We need a pipe here and a pipe here. Okay, so. Okay. I think this is my last pipe, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, I had five pipes, I think. What? I don't have a pipe? Oh, no. Where did I go wrong? Four. Oh, and five. That's five. There's five down there that you can't see. Shoot. What did I miss? Okay, so down here. Over here. I shouldn't need one? Okay, let me let me see. Down here. Over here. Over here. Up. Up. Over. Over. There's a pipe there you can't see. Up. Over. I think you do, Hillness, because... Oh, no, you're right. That doesn't do anything there. So I think maybe that's enough then. Go up from what pipe? What do you mean? So I go down here, I go over, I go over, up, 
over, up, down, over, there's a pipe there, up, 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 and then what? What do you mean? Oh, I see, I see, I see, because it goes like this and this. Yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yep, you're right. You're right. Yeah, we got it. So I just need to now go get the wheel for the other pipe. Um, which I'm still... Oh, yes, I do know how to do that. Silly me, because I don't need it. I can do it from the ledge. So if we go here... Okay. We go here, then we jump up. Take that. Okay, get back down. Climb up here. That's it. We did it. That will drain the rest of it. Woo! That was no joke right there. Success. Man, that was rough. Okay. Can I pick these up now? Again? Yeah, come on. I can run around and do anything. Okay. Factory. Can I? What? Um. Oh. That's locked. Whoa. Okay. Hey, it's the rat guy. I guess it's the boss. What's up, rat guy? There's lots of strange medicine lining the shelves. I need is strange medicine. Strange medicine's what I need. Okay. Ah, I can't find other substitutes. It was the last step. Don't bother me. I'm researching groundbreaking medicine now. Get out! An irritating smell wafts from the burning stove. Can I not get any of this stuff? All seems like good adventure game stuff. This all seems like good point and click adventure. Aha! There are res recipes. You know, some people, some people, folks like to get recipes, and other people like to get recipes. This is the latter. In one bottle, put the stomachs of three flies, one small bowl of gutter water from the rain, let's sit for one night, two negative 4.5 diopter nearsighted eyes and preservatives. It will greatly relieve the itchiness that comes with not taking a bath for an extended period of time. Okay. All right. And in here we've got, oh, hello, don't mind me, I'm just looting your room. I mean, there's a lot of medicine on the table like cough medicine and lung medicine. It seems like a critical illness. Oh. Photos of the sheep's family. Where could they be now? Well, this is sad. <laughs> Recently, the air in the city has just been getting worse. Most people in the neighborhood have left, but this old man doesn't have enough energy. I was already sick, and then the ceiling exhaust pipe goes and breaks. Could you please fix it for me? Oh. Sure. I can try. Empty pet dishes. Problem is, I don't have my trusty ladder. Okay, so it's out there. Okay, wait. An old projector. Hmm. 
All right. Pipe is too high, so it's impossible to climb up and fix it. You need to look for the source of the smoke. I know. I thought I did bring my ladder, actually, but I don't think my ladder is big enough. I'm pretty sure I do have my ladder, although... Okay, so the source of the smoke, so be over here. It's over here, right? Yeah, it's here. This is what I have to somehow... I have to shut this thing down somehow. This is the source of the smoke. The question is, how do I either figure out the rest of it and get him to stop researching? What? You want me to turn off the stove? Absolutely not. I haven't finished the research on the medicine. On second thought, will you help me with the medicine? I haven't finished the last compound. It's a shiny green mushroom. If I just have that, I can create the essential compound. Okay, so I need to get him a shiny green mushroom. Then he'll finish and turn off the stove. Mushroom grows in the first room after going up to the second floor. But you better be careful. Well, it's fine. You'll realize if you go there. <laughs> Fly's stomach. Okay, so... Let's see. So, we gotta go up. Get the mushroom, bring the mushroom down to this guy. He'll shut off the stove so we can help the sheep. I'm giving you this, so put the mushrooms in it. I mean, if you get your hands on the mushrooms. Okay, we got a bottle. What movie are you talking about? A locked well. Well, well, well. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, Hitchhiker's Guide? Yeah. A huge plant tall enough to reach about the second floor. I'm gonna have to climb on that plant at some point. Whoa! What's the green smoke filling this room? Uh. Hello! Is there anybody in there? <laughs> Just smile if you can see me. Is there anything at all? Relax, relax. Now, now. <laughs> there is no pain you are receiving. Shiny green mushroom, that's what I need. Can't cut the shiny green mushroom? Oh god, these controls. Oh my god, what? Two. Three. This is not... This... Okay. Three. Get the flip. Four. This is obviously not right. Okay. Uh... Um... 
I'm going to have a bite of banana muffin to try to power my brain, chat. Because... I know, but I can't seem to get anything from it. It doesn't let me interact with it. Whoa. I feel dizzy. Why am I at the exit again? That sounds not as good, Illness. I gotta be honest. Alright, so... We need to gather more clues and see if I can find information about how to get from one place to another. Tell me anything. <laughs> I think a lot of them left sort of in a hurry, Mrs. Dunsell, is my impression. Because of the rain, I guess, but. Sub dog. doesn't open. This does, though. There's got to be some clue in these apartments as to what you do to get to the mushroom. Like I should be able to pick some of this stuff up. What about this plant? So I need to get here. This is the shiny green mushroom. But... Like, here's the thing. Okay, so welcome is here, right? So, is this like... Down one. Right one. I gotta write this down. I don't know. This this feels sketchy to me, but so so down so I would go over and then you go down one. I wish I knew how many blocks those count as. At the moment, yeah, it's fresher. It's rain, right? I'm used to that. Actually, I don't know whether this is down one or not. Well, from here it'd be like, I'm down one, over one, up one, down one, over one, up one, left one. Up one. So that's one possibility. But another possibility, and I'm worried about this because I feel like you'd have to do a lot of careful counting and this feels like it's moving outside the bounds of the adventure game logic, but would be going like plant, plant. So I realized I'm out of frame. Um, 
but it would be going um, plant, 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 plant. So it'd be going like one, two, three, four, five down, two over, one, two, three, four up, two over. I really hope it's not that. I'm going to try it this other way because I feel like the other, this way, my way that I'm thinking is I think overthink, is overthinking it. Why don't you just hold your breath? Or you're a cat. Can't you just climb up and over? Yeah. Okay. So, down one. Right one. Up one. Right one. I think I I think I did this wrong. I think I wrote it down wrong. Uh, okay, down one. Right one. And then up one. Yeah, it is very awesome, Wonderland. Left one. Up one. And then just left. Nope. That's not it. Um, so there's ten steps from the welcome room. So one, two, three, four. Now see down one, over one, up one. Right one, up one. Down one, over one, up one, left one, up one, left. You see it? Because what it looks like to me is you go from here, down one, right one, up one, right one, down one, right one, up one, left one, up one, and then just left. Is that what you see, Hillness, or am, is, am I seeing something different? Down one, right one, up one, right one, down one, right one, up one, left one, up one, left, left, left. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see if we're right. So down one, right one. I am a little worried that because the welcome sign is backwards that it's the opposite, which is going to really annoy and confuse me if that's the case. But concerns me a little bit. Okay, so down one, in which case we just reverse the, the instructions. Right one, then up one, then right one, then down one, then right one. Then up one. Then left one. Up one. And left. Nope. So we'll reverse it. We'll reverse it. We'll see if it just, we'll just see if it works the exact opposite direction. I think that is the number of steps. So, okay, so we're doing this, so everything's backwards. So that means that we go exact reverse. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see how this works. 
So we go up one. And then left one. And then up one. And then left one. Oh, shoot. No, I did that wrong. Ah! Did it wrong. Alright, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I screwed it up. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, so... I'm gonna put this down so I don't have to do this in my head as I'm good. Left one... No, see, I did it again. Down one in that other area. Up one, left one, down one, left one, up one, left one, down one. So up one, left one, down one, left one, up one, left one, down one, right one, down one. And right. So we meant ten. Okay. All right. So now I've got it. Hopefully in reverse. So as soon as I go out of here. Okay. All right. Let's try that again. Second verse, not the same as the first. All right. Let's try that again. Okay, so after we go through here, you know, that, that if that turns out to be right, that welcome sign being backwards isn't actually a bad clue. Okay, up one. Now left one. Now down one. Then left one. Then up one. Then left one. Then down one. Then right one. Then down one. And right. All right, cross fingers. Ah, oh, that's not it? Oh, man. Shoot. Where did I go wrong? Okay, from here. Down one. Right one. Down one. Right one. Up one. Right one. Down one. Right one. Up one. Left one. Up one. Left. So to reverse it, you would go up one. So you go up instead of down, right instead of left, down instead of up, left instead of right, down instead of up, right instead of left, up instead of down, left instead of right, down instead of up, and left instead of right, or right instead of left. Yeah, but let's see. Down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Yeah, that's got to be right. That's got to be correct. So down, right. That's right. All right, I'm going to try that one more time. We're running out of time, I'm afraid, on the stream as well, but I'd like to figure this out. It's so weird. Huh. Okay, so, instead of down, I go up. Instead of right, I go left. 
instead of up, I go down. Instead of right, I go left. Instead of down, I go up. Instead of right, I go left. Instead of up, I go down. Instead of left, I go right. Instead of up, I go down. Instead of left, I go right. All right, well then, I mean, I'll get, I guess maybe I, me I messed up and I need to do it the right way forward. If that's not it, then I'm really confused. I don't, I feel like. Yeah, but the thing is, it is just the num. there's 10 rooms and that's the number of turns that you make to get through that little maze. So, okay, so here's doing it right side up down, right, up, right, down, right, Up, left, up, left. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. Because the thing is, it's not counting squares, because if it was counting squares, the whole thing wouldn't make sense. There's ten rooms and ten turns. Down. Uh, down. Unless that's, I mean, I guess that could be right. But that doesn't make sense for the, I, I don't know. Okay, so. Down. Right. Up. Right. Down, right, up, left, up, left. That's 10. The only thing I can think of is that maybe they mean... Well, I don't... I don't know. I am confused. I am confused. This doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I just thought about that, live suing. I thought about that. No, no, no. Live means not going up and down. Live means literally just going left and right. So it would be, you know, right turn, uh, left turn, left turn. Well, let's put that the other way. Yeah, we, did, we didn't, I didn't do that yet. Right. Yeah, you always enter in the same side. So right, left, left, right, right, left, 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 right, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. You always enter on the right side, yeah. So, I mean, again, I could do this, and if this doesn't work, then I reverse it and go the other way. And if that doesn't work, then I have no idea. Yeah, you always enter on the right-hand side. So, we'll try it both ways. So, first, we'll try it this way. So, it's right. Left. 
left. Right. Right. Then three lefts. Then a right and a left. Okay. So, the only other thing we can do is reverse it. Okay, so I reversed everything, so let's see how that works. All right, this is my last theory, and if this doesn't work, then I'm out of luck. <laughs> so, okay, so we go, we go left, right, and right. Two lefts. And three rights. Two more rights. One more right. Then a left and a right. Shoot, what did I do? Oh, god damn it. I must have missed something. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, really? <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Damn it. I don't know what the hell I missed. It worked out the right number of times the other time. All right, so let's try again. So, once again, left, then right, then right, then two lefts, one left, one more left, okay, then three rights, right, Right. Okay, this time I got the right number. Left. Okay, and right. Achievement unlocked. Lost kitten. <laughs> what it What does that mean? You mean lost kitten? I want to see what that achievement means. I want to see what that achievement means. What does that mean, chat? What does that mean, Steam? What do you mean, achievement? Tried the maze more than 10 times. Wow. Wow. What a, what a great achievement that is. <laughs> What's up, Burner? I'm, I have no idea. I have no freaking clue. I have no idea what to do now. I, I think it's odd that it says 6.6% .6 of players have this achievement. Does that mean that everyone gave up, or does it mean that this maze actually is not a thing? Maybe I can get, like, a gas mask. Oh my god, please. 
Jeez. Yeah, I know. I don't know what it is. I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. I don't know if it's... I, I don't know. I'm looking here for clues about the maze because I have no idea. Yeah. I tried that a couple times nonstop, yeah. I've already been there. I'm going to have to come back there. Um. It looks almost like if I if I could get like a gas mask. Doesn't that look like a gas mask? That looks like a gas mask. That, that right there looks like a gas mask. Are you si Why can I not interact with anything here? <sighs> I, I, I am so confused. I don't... I am officially stuck. Yeah, I mean, maybe. What's the deal with this dude? And this thing, what, what is this thing? Why, why does this room even exist here? Can't interact with anything here. Most of the time, the puzzles in this game have been in the have been in the um, have been in the building that they start with. You looked up the steps. Is it anywhere close to what we were doing, Illness? Is it in the ballpark? It is. Okay, well, so as not to cause us to delay even further, we were almost right. Which which is the one? I mean, it's close enough that I don't want to keep going through it. So which is the one that is the part that we need to go to, Hillness? Oh, so they just want you to reverse left and right, and that's all, huh? Wow. Okay. So. So it is down one, left one. Then up one, left one. Then down one. Left one. Then up one. Right one. Down one. Right. Wow. Boy. Okay. That's... I don't know what I think about that. It's, it's not... It's not unreasonable. See, part of the problem is that for adventure games... It's never clear how consistent they're going to be with their own rules. And adventure games themselves sometimes are very consistent with what you would think is logical, and sometimes extremely inconsistent. And so, 
Sometimes that, that makes it difficult. All right, down one. Then this is mirrored, so left one. Up one. And then this is mirrored, so left one. Then down one. Hey, we got an achievement, though, and that's what matters. <laughs> and this is mirrored, so left one. Then up one. And then right one, because this is mirrored. And then that's up one, not down one. Ahaha! Yep. Yep. Can you imagine doing this before you talk to the guy? So you're just sitting looking at the mushroom? All right. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Woot! The 20-month sub. Thank you for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, Aaron. I hope you're doing okay. Thank you. Thank you. Smoke coming from the mushrooms dissipated. I feel refreshed. Thank you very much, Aaron. I appreciate that, man. This means that we can actually go through this and see if there's anything else we can uh, pick up while we're here. But it looks like we can't. It was good timing. Thank you very much, Aaron. Thanks, Hillness. Yeah, that that's I that would have been hard for me to figure out. Okay, so go down here. Go give the guy his mushroom so he can shut off the smoke. Alright, I got your mushroom, my dude. Green mushrooms! You got them! Great, hang them over. I made the final compound, but there's still one small problem. Oh god. I was careless before and placed the three compounds along with another medicine, so now I can't tell them apart. All of the medicines are on the table below. Find the three correct medicines as a little experiment, make them into compounds, and then just feed the compounds to the mice on the table. What? If all three of the compounds are correct, the mice that drank the medicine will get stronger. Nothing will happen if you get just one compound wrong, but if you get two compounds wrong, the mice will start to die. If you get all three wrong, the mice will suddenly die. It should be simple for you. I'll give you this compound and you tell them apart. What? What did he just tell me to do? Four mice will appear at once. The eyes of the mice will turn green after the injection. I'll have you find the correct three compounds. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Seriously, right, Aaron? I'm glad about that. What's up, Triffid? I know, the mice's lives. Observe the condition of the mice. You don't need to worry about them. There's more where they came from. Oh, God. What? <sighs> okay. Purple. Red. Uh... This feels... I feel terrible. Okay, so it's still going. And I gotta wrap up here soon. Okay, we tried purple. Plus orange. Plus, what is that? Violet. Equals poison. How about purple, orange, and yellow? That's not it. Wait. Okay, so he didn't die, which means that one of those is right. And we know, so that means yellow has to be one of the compounds because purple, orange, and violet, all three compounds were wrong. I think, shoot. I don't remember. Uh, God, 
This is so confusing. Did he, did you say if two compounds are wrong? If all three are correct, they get stronger. If you get two compounds wrong, the mice will suddenly die. Okay, so... Mice will start to die. If you get all three wrong, the mice will suddenly die. Well, I don't know the difference between suddenly and start to, because the one in there is definitely dead, which suggests to me that yellow is one of the compounds. All right, so let's try yellow, beaker, and blue. I know, right? Okay, so maybe... Oh my god, uh... Try that? I don't... Um... I mean, one of them is definitely yellow. It, I would say it's pretty close to that. Yeah, Miranda. Oh my god, I am so confused. I also don't really have time to do all of this. Because I gotta get ready. Reminds me of a game called Mastermind, but... Oh! That's it! Yellow, orange, and blue! Woo! Got it. Thank God. Did the experiment work? Good job! Look, those mice are fierce! My combat is supreme! So from here is the most vital part that I even saw in my dreams. I'm gonna be the strongest mouse on this star from now. Oh boy. Ha 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 ha! Mouse. Dang. Oh, okay. Well, the, the stove is fixed. Le laboratoire est à la sage d'un inverter de désastre. Suddenly we went into French. Why do we suddenly cut into French? All right, we can help the dude next door. That was very weird. <laughs> that whole thing was extremely strange. All right, let's go in and help this dude. Thanks. The air in the room is much better now. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. You want to go in the factory and look for someone? The management's very strict there. It's not a place you can't get into easily. I know, Hellness, right? There's a private mine underground. Several of my mine friends mice there. My mine friends mice there? Mice friends mine there? 
Sometimes they steal valuable machinery from the factory through a secret passage. Of course, I can't say that they're very kind mice. They might be a bit of a pain if you want them to help you, but it would be good to try asking them and see. Right, I'll give you this. It's the key for the outside well. The entrance is over there. There's definitely a secret passage that goes to the factory. You can't get the mice to help you without gaining their trust. Oh yeah, I have a good-for-nothing son who works in that factory. He hasn't come home in a very long time. If you happen to find him, tell him to hurry home and stop working for that dog, destroying the city for a meager wage. Okay. Alright. Okay, I just want to double check and see if I can do that. Okay. So... Right. It's a long way down. Hey, it's the mice. Okay. All right, well. The control scheme of this is bizarre, but. So does anyone know? Yeah, so I, I save for now because I've got to go over that. I have to say though, that was fun. Um, it's. It's not, you know, as I say, it's not perfect <laughs> um, because of some of the logic, especially the controls are obnoxious. But in general, that's pretty good. Um, you know, is this also a puzzle? Does anyone have a, ch have a sense, if you've played this before, um, does anyone know how much longer there is to play of it? Like, I wondered if I'm like halfway done or like a tenth of the way done or any of those things. I'm curious. There wasn't, it wasn't too bad as far as the adventure game logic, so. Oh, you didn't finish it, so you have no idea? I wonder. Just pardon me while I update this. The switch controls are better. Yeah, you know what? Maybe in retrospect, that's what I should have done. Uh, it was Mrs. Dunsell who nominated it, and other people, Live Suing also was a big fan, may also have nominated it too. Um, okay, while I'm installing this new Radeon thing, let me take a look quickly and see. Because I'm curious about how far that went. Okay, so we've got that. Mines, factory. Oh, in the end. Oh, I don't have that much farther. I think we're over halfway done. If I if I had to guess, I think we're over halfway done, actually. I agree with you, Mrs. Dunsell, yeah. Maybe this is something I can do on, like, a bonus stream to wrap it, because it's pretty close. Um... And if I have a game that's pretty close like that, what? What do you mean general error? Get the hell out of here. What? Hello? What the heck? Man. All right, well, I don't make you all wait through that. Major problem, got a promotion. Um, okay, cool though. Yeah, that's cool. Um, uh, what did you folks think who were watching me play? How did people feel about this game? I thought it was kind of fun, actually. I I kind of like some of the aesthetic of it. Um, and it does remind me a lot of Machinarium um, in the feel of the world and in the, again, not the graphics, but um, 
pretty much in everything else, it feels a lot like what I would have expected. So, yeah, I know. I want to finish it too. Um, that's kind of why I'm thinking. But I might not be able to do that. Actually, I might. I'm wondering if I could enlist the R vocalist to do this, but probably not because there's not enough speaking. So maybe that's a bad idea. Anyway, um, all right. Well, I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to rise up on out of here because I got to get ready for my GOG stream. I am going to be over there today. For those of you who missed the announcement earlier, Talisman Adventures is rescheduled the next week because of combination of illness and house stuff that uh, players are dealing with. So we're going to reschedule Talisman for next week. So that means coming up at 4 p.m., I will be playing some Celasta. Um, so you'll have a chance to see some more Celasta Crown of the Magister, which will be a good time. Um, and also, let me just confirm tonight about our vocalists. Uh, let's see. So our vocalists may or may not have, <laughs> speaking of house problems, um, so one of the our vocalists is also having a house issue. So if we only have two people, then I might reschedule our vocalists. Okay. Um, Uh, hold on, just answering one of the our vocalists. Um, okay, hold on right now. I'm just responding to one person. So anyway, um, I'm not sure. Um, we, we're supposed to have our vocalist tonight, but we may have to reschedule that because of unavoidable circumstances, um, in which case that happens. Uh, okay, so yeah, so if that turns out to be the case... Um, then uh, I will see, because I feel like finishing this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If we don't do our vocalist tonight and I reschedule it, I may just wrap what we were just playing tonight because I was having fun with it. And I'm, you know, if it's only another couple hours to do, then, you know, that's not something I mind doing. So I might do that this evening. Uh, and then we would do our vocalist next Tuesday. So we'll see. So we'll do something along those lines um, in the uh, next couple of a uh, few hours. So watch my Twitter um, and I will let everybody know as soon as I figure it out myself, but I probably won't know for a couple of hours, just so you know. So something we'll do tonight. Um, yeah. Like if we don't do our vocalist tonight, then I'll reschedule to our vocalist to next Tuesday. And then we'll just, we'll wrap this up tonight, which would be, which would be fine because we can actually play through it. But in the meantime, regardless of whether that is the case, uh, I am going to wrap up for now. I'm going to be over at GOG playing Celasta Crown of the Magister in about 15 minutes. If you like what you saw and heard, please follow the channel. Check out the YouTube, exclamation point arv tube, Discord, exclamation point arv cord, Twitter, exclamation point arv tweets, website arvanellarun.com, financial side, exclamation point arv shop for the merchandise area, exclamation point arv tray on for the Patreon, and of course subbing to the channel as a few of you did today allows me to keep things going as well and lets you um, get those custom sub badges and emails Emotes and of course inspirations for the players as the Patreon helps you do as well. On the publishing side, exclamation point Icarus for my Icarus graphic novel from Mathis Arts. A reminder for those of you who missed this, I now have official dates for the Grey Shade Kickstarter launch. I will be, this is for Hillness, announcing the announcement, so to speak. I will be announcing the official Kickstarter launch dates on July 6th. So two weeks from today, I will announce the official launch dates. They are right in line though with what I've been saying all along, which is late summer, early fall. Very, very excited for it. Um, I think it's going to be a big kick. There's a lot riding on it. And so I think it's going to be a big Kickstarter. I hope it will be. Um, there's a lot that I think is going to be good about it. And we're all going to be kind of pushing together. So I will really need everyone's assistance, hopefully, in spreading the word. And I think it's going to be really exciting um, to be able to talk a little bit about what this world brings to the table um, and on multiple avenues. It's the first time I've ever launched an IP that isn't just either writing or graphic novel related, right, or art related. This is the first time that I've got everything um, from board game to role playing game to books um, to audiobooks uh, and all of that being launched as a part of this. So it's very exciting for me and I hope folks will enjoy that stuff as well. So announcement, announcement. See, yeah, it's not the same thing. That's announcement, announcement. Not the same thing at all, Hillness. 
Um, anyway, so uh, exclamation point Icarus for details about my Icarus graphic novel, exclamation point Gray Shade KS for details about that Gray Shade Kickstarter, and exclamation point um, Library for tales and tomes from the Forbidden Library, 5e Adventure Sourcebook, which is going to be out to backers by the first week of July. So about two weeks from now, backers should be have received their copies or close to it. And same thing with stores. And then the retail version of this book right here, Tales and Tomes, retail version of this book is going to be in October that's when it's going to be available to the general public. But Kickstarter backers will have this before then, uh, as will stores that ordered it ahead of time. So at your local, friendly local game store, there'll be some of these around. And then again, we're going to be sending these out available in retail as of October. And of course, you can always get it on DriveThruRPG digitally, as Hillness just put there right now. So um, yeah, that's the deal with that. And as always, exclamation point BLM for Black Lives Matter. And uh yeah, you're waiting for the retail version. Yeah, it that like I said, it's going to be here in October. October for sure, Hillness, but we have to fulfill backers and stores. The backers were really patient when we had all the customs delays and everything, so we have to fulfill those first. Um, but then they will be going out to retail, believe me. So, um, and exclamation point... Um, BLM, as I said, Black Lives Matter, very important to affirm and assert the importance of black lives and exclamation point help now. The World Health Organization page on suicide prevention, very important to reach out to others if you need help and to reach out to others when they need help as well. No raid today. I'm going to see you folks over at GOG at 4 p.m. and tonight, either for the Orvocalist or to wrap up Rain City. Thank you to my wonderful mods, Hillness, uh, Burner, Rising Tides, and Triffid, best in the business. Thank you all so much. Thank you to my subscribers, Hillness, Burner, uh, Rising Tides, Triffid. Thank you to Effect Life, to Nonstop, to Aaron's, to Garlic Tofu, Live Suing, Mar, Mrs. Dunsell, and Red Lear. And thank you to all my Patreon supporters in that group as well. Thank you to uh, Darth Sisu. Thank you to Gigafrost, to Gorgar, Lost Rivers. Thank you to Marinda. Thank you to Sickadies. Thank you to Sad Girl, to Severus, Tauntom, Sparkly Wallflower, You Christensen, V and K, Wenchkin, uh, Zetir, and Xenorex. Um, thank you all so, so much. That's what we're trying to do, Marinda. We, we don't want to be I using Kickstarter more than on more than one occasion. I I've backed many and I've put my own a group of my own together now and I want to be one of the honorable ones if I can. So that's going to be it for me. Uh, again, more of Rain City possibly tonight, but thank you for choosing it regardless. And I will see you over on GOG in just about 10 minutes. Um, thanks everyone. Much love. And I will catch you folks soon. Bye for now. Oh, and be good to each other as always.